Lee, it's another of those games that ended up with one of these charging up and down the, the field. Total energy. Two teams that gave everything tonight and still no goals. That's why they got two teams near the top of the league. I mean, to summarise that game, I think first half I was really pleased. I thought we controlled the game um, against a really, really good side. Um, tactically, I think they decided to go a little bit longer than they use, usually do and then try and feed off a second balls, expecting us to win the first header and with Shields just playing off the striker this week rather than being up in the number nine role, um, obviously trying to pick up second balls. But we dealt with it really, really well and I thought we controlled, as I say, we got a lot of opportunities around the edge of the box, uh, never really had our shooting boots on. Um, but second half, the game got a little bit too stretched for my liking to be honest with you and those second balls that were dropping on all the time in the first half um, we were losing a few of them which gave them a foothold in the game um, but ultimately Dippo's had a wonderful opportunity at the end unfortunately it wasn't for him we can't give him too much stick because he's won his games on his own at times this season and uh, Charlie's had two massive massive saves in the game Yes, I think that's a really good point, Charlie. That you say good saves. One of them, in fact, was such a reaction save that I don't think any of us thought he'd stopped it. That's not luck, Callum. That's that's just pure quality, and uh, and that's uh, all down to the hard work he puts on the training ground with Timo um, and with Aidan and with the other goalkeepers that we've got. They work their tails off, and so as I say, that's not luck. That's that's genuine quality. So you brought Ben off, uh, is there an injury there? Yeah, Did he... He, tweaked, uh, he tweaked something behind his knee earlier in the week, but he felt 100% and then it just started to, as the game went on, and it did, as you say, it started to become a basketball match, end to end stuff, and it just started to tighten up a little bit, so uh, that's a protection and thing. Um, put Paul on in the end there, uh, we just try to give a little bit more energy, we bring in Chrissy and Dara on, and I thought uh, Subs, subs made, a, made a decent impact, I thought Dara was very, very bright, and Chrissy had good spells in there as well, and it was Dara's little cross right at the end that caused the problem. Um, and unfortunately, as I say, I think Dippo just probably had too much time or not enough pressure on him. Um, I, th I think if he's got a centre back on him, he's, he likes that physical battle too, and he probably would have brought it down his chest and fired it in. wasn't to be, wasn't to be. But we plug on three big points we've had against three tough teams in Morton, Partick, and uh, Queens, but we've got six points still to play for. Just one question about uh, about ten minutes before the end, you started warming up to strikers. The young, uh, I think, uh, Bryden and uh, I was Mackenzie, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Were you contemplating doing that change, or, well, or what changed think, your mind? I think we just had to keep an eye because Dippo had worked his his, his uh, hard off, and you never know if they, if they had scored, then we had to go and throw caution to the wind. Um, if we had scored, we might have brought on. Uh, a more defensive minded player to see the game out that type of thing so we need our subs continually warming up so we've got uh, all angles covered should should anything happen that uh, you're not, that's a little bit unexpected